But, and hello my brave knights, princesses, and princesses, and welcome to a game called Sagebrush. This is a short little walking simulator experience game that will probably will be played in one sitting. It takes place in Albuquerque, and well, we're just going to play it, and we're going to find out what's in this. That's about all I know about it. So let's do this. Now, I did play a little bit of it, and it might lag a little bit because it's a Unity game, and there's no option to deal with the um, graphics, so we're just going to have to put up with it. But knowing us, we can, because we put up with worse. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all. That what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. Sorry about that. Black Sage Ranch, 2550 miles northwest of Albuquerque. Site of 1993 Perfect Haven Masters. Yep. That was not a fun time. Not going to lie, you're surprised it actually made it all the way here. You brought some gear in the trunk. Sweet. Wire cutters. Okay. Can we close this trunk? Good. As you can see, that art style is a little bit different from what we're normally used to in Unity games. Get one budge and you didn't bring anything to bust through. So we just cut through this with wild crows, huh? Okay. You don't mind me. Now, I'm not exactly sure why we're here. So you, I'm, I'm as dumbfounded as the rest of you. Good, we can run. Do we have shadow? No, we don't. And we also don't have feet. Okay. Too dark to read anything. It can be a little confusing getting around our little home. Don't worry, Sister Anna's printed some maps to help you get accumulated. Well, uh, I had just graduated from college. You know I was a communications major. That part was true. So, I graduated and I couldn't find a job. I had no idea what I wanted to do and got pretty depressed. My boyfriend at the time said I was holding him back and took off, so that was that. I could have moved home, but I didn't. 
I stayed out in California, but it's not like I had any friends there. My parents would call and I would just lie about how things were going. I didn't know what I wanted because, I guess, I didn't really want anything. I would wake up and just count the seconds ticking off of my life until I fell back asleep. We were all broken in some way, I think. Some more than others. Now does it say the same thing about, yeah it does say the same thing about every table probably, okay. This instrument once now strings are rusted and the IQA are faded. Okay, can't read the sheet music yet. I'm gonna have to find a power source. Grain beans. Grain beans. A sink full of unwashed dishes. Grape nuts. Of course, it doesn't say that, but you can. Fill up the nose, it's not hit some gas, now quickly in ign ignition, this range is long dead. It is dead. And the front door and immediately stand out line, but shut after overwhelming stench of running meat and hits her nostrils. Yeah, I wouldn't want to smell that either. Alright, so we need to find power before we can really explore any more of this place. Let's see the same thing with freezer. Yeah, I'll be able to slot frozen meats, okay. Right, well, let's go find. Before we do any more, let's go find the power. Hello. That's something we do need. We do need the generator key. Like, oh, here we go. Yeah, now we have power. Now we can... Turn on the lights. Christopher Flagstaff, uh, fun fact, hold record for most blue ribbons. Two wonderful children, my son Luke is in Dodge Jewelry from Frenzo. Help of schooling, children with. Uh huh. Grocery store in town, but ever since I shut down, been looking for something more. I served in the Navy for a term. Of cooking and crafts, so. I hope I can energize the fox. I can speak in three languages. Uh huh. I've been in four continents in the past three years. Really fast reader. Seems legit. Any tunes less than professional <laughs> determination shows through. There we go. Uh huh. Come on, I turned on. Is there a light switch in this room? Probably. Hold on a second. There we go. Form schedule. Everyone has something to do. 
Right. Pantry is not your personal snack to where food is for the people to share. If you keep stealing cookies from the storeroom, you will have to answer for your crimes in the cleansing room. Oh. That's nice. Okay, now we're in here. Someone's taking cookies. I know it hasn't heated warnings about taking more than a share of food. He keeps swiping snacks from the storage room until we can straighten him out. I've decided to move his favorite foods into the farm shed and hide the key on the side of the bookshelf next to the ping pong table. I do want that key. We actually were in that room not too long ago, so... Let's see... Spinach casserole is Monday, barbecue is Tuesday, fasting is Wednesday, pork chops is Thursday, beef stew is Friday, Saturday is chicken. Okay. Right, so we have to go get that key, which is... I actually know where it is, because I was actually in that room. Pinball table is the only game you see around. It doesn't seem like there's enough room to play. Hmm. Take a book off the shelf. We know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the fourth century when Athanasius and his. Yeah. Right, so there is a key. I don't need that noise right now. So he said there's a key, a key is next to the ping on the shelf. Okay, so we can't crouch, we can't jump. Ah, oh, there it is. So we have a front shed key and a gate key. So now we could open the gate if we wanted to. That's good. So no one here. Please hold. As if it was... Okay, that's I guess right. Ah, uh, 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 don't you dare shot on me. <laughs> Right, so we have a key to the barn, which is over here. Okay. There we go. Now we're in. Right, so we need to go to the barn to check out this stash of cookies and stuff because said person was taking cookies. Even though I don't see why it's such a bad... Well, I mean, they're taking cookies, but they're just cookies. But then it could escalate. That's the problem, is that it could escalate, I guess. I mean, it is, a, but it can be a problem. Okay, slow down. Let my encoding catch up. There we go. Okay. 
Alright, so what do we got here? The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. They've been lying to you, all of them. And I knew he was right. Oh. Can I know the joy the truth, the freedom that comes with the release, and you know, all of one's doubt so much like so much ballast is into the sea. Yeah, because the person, uh huh, the person, um, ah, I found a key, cool. Bars of jam and pickled vegetables, okay. Well, that, <laughs> what, <laughs> okay. You got me, game. Right, so now we know something. So let's keep looking around here. It's an old tractor. Proud of myself. Uh huh. This looks like a school room or a school house. <laughs> What's this, Juliet? I know it's Juliet. Why are you so stubborn? Why do you direct reject us? You don't pay attention to it in class, you don't try hard on your sims, you lie about your readings. Hmm. I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, Viola was the older sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, good, they should be scared. I mean, in a sense, yes, they should be. <laughs> yes. Day for James received the truth. Lucas's assignment. Uh -huh. You know, this just reminds me of this reminds me of Far Cry Five and those people. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Secular back. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at these people. Okay. Man, I was hoping to find stuff in the pockets. Pockets. Andrew, there you are. Yellow's trailer, perfect. I greatly enjoyed our talk earlier. I'd like to continue it. The children will be helping to feel tomorrow afternoon, so I'll be alone if you want to stop by. That's not. They love me and I love them in a way that transcends even blood. Maybe that hurts you to hear. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel, then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the field, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. In the evening, we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Anything? Why, why we men must all be fools, but by the malarkey he sped us by mainstream churches. Huh. Interesting. So we have Juliet's key now. If I recall correctly, hers was over here. Or Viola. Sorry, not Juliet. What's wrong with me? Stupid brain. Okie dokie. We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. Do you know how good that feels? To be chosen? I hope you do. It's a feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. He said he felt spiritually invigorated by my presence and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. <laughs> Give me a speaking to Philly by care deeply, but you know, or that you're having doubts about the father and his teachings. Uh-huh. Well, we need to be patient with Julia. She does need more time. She'll come around and see. Okay. I'll see you tonight for all time cleansing in the rectory. Can we have much talking out? Okay. Come on, 
Come on. There you go. Discussion of Matthew tw chapter 26. Discussion of the false, uh, false churches. Oh, great. For the days of taking. You know the code by the days of it. Hmm. Day of first, excuse my first vision. When I come back, guys, I'll figure this out. Until then, leave a like and subscribe as always. Well. for more and more Sailor's video. Goodbye, everybody.